Hello, welcome to ENHRP on YouTube and welcome to another video and today we are doing a laptop of sorts. Well it is a laptop. Let's get into it. So as I said, uh, today's video is about a laptop. Um, I succumbed to the rubbish that is Black Friday. I was out in Nottingham um, having a wander around and went into, went into John Lewis and hey presto, here we go. I've brought a second-hand used uh, reduced to clear Chromebook. In fact, it is the Toshiba CB30B104 Chromebook. Um, it is used, doesn't really bother me particularly. It's got, it still comes with a two-year guarantee. Um, it's a dual-core Intel Celeron N2840, uh, 2840 uh, processor, and it is four gig of memory. Um, now, why you say am I buying a Chromebook? Well, simple, really. Um, I've been looking for something. I've recently sold my MacBook um, to move over to Windows. I've got myself a laptop. Um, I still feel that I could do with a laptop to use, particularly if I'm just surfing the internet when I'm sat downstairs in front of the TV, as you do these sort of things. Um, and I've been looking at Chromebooks and they, they interest me actually. And I've um, been looking to get one for a while. And this one was a fairly good price. I've had a look online. It was uh, not a bad price. Um, so I thought I would buy it and see what it was like. So let's get into the unwrapping. It obviously doesn't come with a box um, because it is used. Ugh. And when I went into John Lewis actually they had some quite good deals. Um, they had a Zen, a Zen book in there which almost tempted me but I decided not to because it was quite a lot of money. Um, but they also had a lot of iPads and iPad Pros for good prices um, which was also interesting. So there we have it. The Toshiba Chromebook. Mm. Nice, nice feel to it actually. Seems like a quality, um, well built device. Let's have a look at the ports around the side. So, on this side, we have the headphone jack, USB 3.0, uh, HDMI out, I believe. And is that a maglock? That might be a maglock safe, I'm not sure. Um, and then on that side, we have another USB, which looks like a USB 2. And we have a, a SD card reader and then your power. Uh, there's a slight chip there, you may be able to see. Or slight, sort of bought sight, uh, slight, slightly unseen. Um, but they uh, do have a two year guarantee and it is guaranteed to work as well. Um, let's open the device and have a look. Joe, you know, that's actually quite nice. Hmm. Um, yeah, quite impressed with that actually. Um, Quite nice tappiness and feel on the keypad, on the um, touchpad, the keyboard. That actually has quite a nice feel keyboard to it as well. There's not much, there's a little bit of flex in there. Um, and then you have the screen there as well, which is a full HD 1080p screen. Um, so let's power on and see, have we got any battery? No, right. I wasn't aware. I wasn't sure if we would have battery. So let me power on and we will um, log in and see what I think of it. OK, so going over this uh, particular Chromebook laptop and some specs for you. It's running Chrome OS. It's an Intel Celeron N2840 processor with Intel Burst Technology 2.0. Okay, um, it's a 13.3 inch um, full HD TFT high brightness IPS display with LED backlighting 16.9 ratio, uh, 16, uh, 16 gig of solid state memory, um, brushed smart silver with dot pattern finish, uh, it has a onboard um, 4 gig of RAM, Intel HD graphics, maximum battery life of up to 9 hours and weighs 1.3 kilograms. So there you go, those are the specs of the device. Now this is my first ever Chromebook, uh, it's brought a bit on the whim. Um, I've been looking for one for a while but I saw this particular offer, I'm just going to move that really irritating plastic bit off the backing paper, there we go, let's get rid of that, tidy up here, disgusting. Um, so what are my uh, thoughts on this particular laptop? Well, build wise, it's quite nice. Um, the power on time is super quick. It's ridiculous, uh, really, to be honest. From 
opening the lid of the device to it being ready to use is probably about two or three seconds and from there um, you can just go um, and start using the device. This is what really these are made for, they're made to be on very quickly. Simple devices, you can browse the internet, you can get some apps on there, I can photo edit on here as well, I found an app to do that uh, which does quite a nice job of it as well so if I'm out and about with this laptop doing some photography I can upload onto this uh, and then I've brought myself a little micro um, thumb drive to stick into onto the USB ports so it gives me 32 gig of extra storage which is plenty for when you're out and about which is pretty much what I brought this for. So I am also impressed with the sound quality of the speakers that come out of this. They are Skull Candy branded as well but they are uh, they do give a, a very decent sound. Hi there, welcome to Ian HRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video for something I am very excited about. So yeah, not bad at all. And the uh, screen quality is actually surprisingly good. Now the screen quality of this device is, uh, is not bad. You do get some reflection off it if you're in a particular bright area, as you can see. Um, but for the cost of the device, the actual quality of the screen is surprisingly good. Um, what I have noticed as well is that this will struggle to pay anything above 1080p, um, particularly on YouTube if you're trying to do 4K, nada. It just won't do it, it will buffer all over the place. If you're trying to do 2K, um, then it will buffer all over the place. So yeah, 1080p is about the maximum you can get, but it's a 1080p screen, so why would you want to do 4K on it anyway? Um, it is so, the Showtech uh, Virtual Reality Glasses. Shut up here. Um, so, let's... So yeah, it's it's a nice quality screen. Netflix looks really nice on there. The picture quality is perfectly acceptable as well. Um, so let's have a quick look at some of the apps that I've managed to install on this so far. Um, obviously, you've got the buttons here, which just open up to web pages on the Google platform on Google Chrome. Um, you have YouTube. Uh, I've got Docs on there, my uh, Gmail account, and then obviously my internet. Um, and then on the background you get some pleasing pictures and then if you go here you go into your apps and this is the particular photo editor that I've been using called Polar. Um, it's a very simple thing, it's a very simple editor. You can copy and you can add filters, you can change the colour and stuff like that but it works with RAW so straight out of the camera I can put photos like this in which is of chocolate um, tools when I was at a Christmas market uh, a couple of days ago. Um, so yeah, it's it's a nice little app actually, particularly as it's free. You can open up raw files, um, save them, convert them to JPEG, upload them to your um, Google Photos account and share online as you wish to do so as well. So yeah, nice little app on that one. Um, I am at the moment working on the beta channel. Um, I don't think this Chromebook is going to get the Play Store, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, I wasn't sure when I brought it, I didn't even think about it actually when I brought it, but then obviously when I got back it was like, oh, I'm sure you can get Play Store on Google Chromebooks. Um, but at the moment, this doesn't seem to be exceptional. I'm on the right version of the Chrome OS software, um, but I can't get the Play Store on there. But you know, I will live without the Play Store on a laptop. The main thing I use this for is for browsing the internet, um, surfing, watching videos, going on YouTube, going on Twitter, all these sort of things that you normally do. Um, that's what I've brought this for. And for that, it's perfectly acceptable. It works well, the trackpad um, is nice and responsive. I've not had any g glitters on it. Glitters? No, not glitters. I've not had any, um, uh, any sort of false readings on the trackpad as well. You can uh, zoom in, um, you can right click and all this usual stuff. It's quite a nice keypad. Uh, the keyboard itself is perfectly fine. Um, there is a little bit of flex on the keyboard, but not actually that much. And the keys, do you know what they remind me of? The keys actually remind me of my MacBook Pro. They're that type of feel um, on the keys. There's not that much travel on them, but they are very fine to type with. It's perfectly acceptable. Um, so there you go. I'm actually fairly impressed with this particular Chromebook. Um, for what I wanted it for, I don't mind it at all. I think it's not a bad little investment. Something to um, stick in your bag, carry around with you if you're out and about and you're going on a holiday. Uh, you can watch your Netflix and all that sort of stuff using the hotel Wi-Fi. 
So yeah, perfectly acceptable battery life, um, just very quickly uh, while I remember. Um, this has been off charge for full charge and then off charge um, since Saturday morning and it's got four hours and 51 seconds left. Four hours and 51, no, it's gone up to five hours and 20 minutes. So um, the battery life is very good as well. Uh, it's completely acceptable um, and it will last you easily all day if you're out and about. So there you go, that is um, my first impressions of the Chrome OS software. Will it be something I'll be buying again? Well, do you know, depending on what they do with it in the future, it may well be tempting. You can pick these up for, I think the cheapest one is about £130, um, going up to the ridiculous price of the Google Pixel. I don't know why you'd ever spend £1,000 on one. Um, but for the mid-range ones, for anything that's like £200 or less, or £200 to £300, something like that, it's well worth it. If all you're ever going to do is surf the internet, check your email, watch YouTube, go on Facebook and um, tweet on Twitter, then why do you need to spend money on a Windows laptop when you can get a very fast device for less money? So there you go, that's my uh, thoughts on this device. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this particular video, then click on the share button and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming up very shortly. Thanks for watching, bye for now.